Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 20 and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at fading elements. Alright then class, so in the last tutorial I showed you this animate function right here and we could do some groovy stuff with it. I said that we can pretty much animate any CSS property we want which takes a numerical value like this, a number, right? So if we wanted to, we could get funky and say we want to animate the opacity, all right? Because this accepts a numerical value from zero, which is completely transparent, to one, which is completely opaque. I think I've got that the right way around. Okay, so zero would be completely fade this out. So if I do 0 0.5, that's going to take it halfway, right? And by the way, I've still got this click event attached to this H2 right here. So when we click this, it's going to fire this function. Uh, which has taken this, wrapped it up in the jQuery wrapper so we can use this animate function and it's going to animate this H2 to the opacity of 0 0.5. So let's save that and give this a Viennese whirl. I'm going to click this and sure enough it animates down to semi-transparent state. Now then, jQuery gives us some built-in methods we can use instead of doing this which are a little easier on the eye and a bit quicker to write. They are fade in, fade out and fade to. So I'm going to show you these three methods in this tutorial. I'm going to start with the fade out method. So all we need to do is delete this animate and replace it with fade out. And that is it guys. Ta-da. That is the fade out method. Dead simple. So now if I click on this over here, what's going to happen is the element is going to completely fade out to zero opacity. So if I click that, Okay, completely disappeared. And you will have noticed as well that this content scooted up after it completely faded out. That's because once it's completely faded out, it's removed from the document and it occupies no space, uh, sorry, occupies no space in the document, all right? I'll just show you that once more so you can see. I'll refresh, click it, completely fades out, then this zooms up. All right, so that's the fade out method. Now, if I wanted to, I could chain together this with a fade in method. And we've seen chaining in a previous tutorial. Remember, we can attach these methods one after the other. If you've missed that tutorial, I'll leave a link to that down below so you can go and check that out. So what we're saying is, first fade out, then when that's completed, fade back in. All right, these are the two methods, fade out and fade in. So let's save that and give that a whirl. Click over here, fades out and then fades in. Pretty cool, right? Now, as well as this, we can pass through some parameters in here. We can pass through the speed. So I could say 2000, and that's going to be 2000 milliseconds, or two seconds if you like. That's going to be the fade out speed, uh, or the fade out time rather. And the fade in time, I'm going to set to 500, so half a second. So it's going to fade out slowly, then fade in quite quickly once it's finished fading out. So let's give this a whirl. Click right there. Fades out slowly, then boop, back in. Cool. All right, so as well as these fade out and fade in functions, we've also got the fade to function. So let's delete those two right there and replace it with fade to. Now, this takes two parameters. It takes the first one, which is the time taken. I'll just put 1000, so one second. And then you specify the opacity you want to fade it to, right? So between zero and one. And zero is completely transparent. So if I fade to 0 0.2 and save this, I'll click over here, you can see what happens. It nearly completely fades out, but not quite. It's still got that 0 0.2 opacity left. Likewise, I could chain another one to that. I'll say fade to again, 1000 milliseconds. And this time I fade it to 0 0.8 and I'll click over here again, first it's going to fade to this opacity, then when it's finished it's going to fade to this opacity. So let's try that. Fades out and fades in. Cool. And this leads me to a cool little effect we can do. What I'm going to do is just change this to about 200 milliseconds. Change this again, 200 milliseconds. And I'm going to lay this out a little bit differently because we're chaining some things together. And I'm going to copy and paste all of this right here. And I'm going to come down below these and paste them again and again and scoot this thing up. Uh, right about there. Okay, cool. Now what it's doing is fading out, then in, then out, then in, etc. And it's going to create this kind of like flashing effect, which looks quite cool. Almost like a warning effect, right? So if I click this now, watch. 
wheel, wheel, wheel. All you need is like a siren, <laughs> and it's like a warning effect, right? That's pretty cool. So you can use things like this on your web pages. So if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like these videos, and I'll see you in the very next one.